In this video, we'll see how to uh, resolve the issue where you are getting uh, failed to connect to the RDS database on AWS on my SQL Workbench. So you can see here my database instance is expense tracker DB, and we'll try to connect this database. So if we go here, okay these are my settings so you need to make note of one thing that you need to make it publicly accessible so you can access it from your uh, pc or laptop so uh, what we need to do now is we need to uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try to rep uh, re replicate the problem and we'll see how to rectify this issue so if i go and uh, go ahead and create a new connection here first thing i'll create is my x Expense Tracker AWS AWS okay and I will put the host name so to put the host name you need to go to the endpoint so you need to go to your expense tracker so I'll show you how to go so go to your databases here go to expense tracker and you will find an endpoint here okay just copy this endpoint and uh, let's in the place of host name just put the endpoint okay your my my username is admin again you can see this under the configuration tab here so if you go down here you can see the admin as the master username so i'm using admin and now i am going to store my password so my password is so i'll try to make a connection here and you can see that my connection is giving this issue fail to connect to mysql okay to resolve this problem what we need to do is we need to to resolve this problem we need to okay go to the instance let's go to the databases okay and uh, let's go to this let's click on the database instance and go to the security you can see the security section here just click on this go on this and click on this and uh, the security rules will be loading now okay so these rules have been loaded just select this rule okay now just scroll down go to inbound rules okay once we go to the inbound rules okay we'll say edit inbound rules okay we'll add a new rule here and this will rule will be for like all traffic we'll make it all traffic and we'll make it source will be my ip because i want the access only to my ip when i connect to the database and we'll click on save changes here. okay we ha we have two rules now so you can see the inbound rules are two and one is for my ip okay so see this is my ip rule so now in order now now let's go and connect to the mysql workbench okay i'll again put my password so i'll try to test connection now and we can see that we have successfully connected to the mysql database to the mysql workbench so now our rds server is connected to mysql workbench click on ok click on ok here and you will get a new tab so if we click on this new tab and this is we can see that we have enter we have logged into a, a mysql workbench 